Hi, my name is Fritz Oldenburg. And I'm Roland Ladd, and we're from the Bangor High School STEM Academy. This year, our project was the development of a cost-effective aerial near-infrared and RGB imaging system to monitor plant health. The engineering goal of this project was to use a near-infrared and RGB imaging and a self-made drone to monitor plant health in a cost-effective way. Using a drone we built last year in a system consisting of an RGB Raspberry Pi camera and a Pi Noir camera, we developed a comparable system for a fraction of the cost. Multispectral cameras are used to image vegetation in both visible and near-infrared wavelengths. Seeing the infrared light spectrum is important because healthy plants reflect more near-infrared light due to higher levels of chlorophyll. Using a Pi Noir infrared camera with a red filter, we were able to capture infrared light and red light similar to a multispectral camera. The images were then used to create a normalized difference vegetation index, or NDVI for short, highlighting the dead or stressed leaves. Using a Raspberry Pi 4, we built a system to capture and email the user a color mapped NDVI image and an RGB image. We tested the camera system and drone separately. The drone was flown in the gym and its maneuverability was assessed. To test the camera system, we arranged nine pea plant leaves in a 3x3 grid. Eight images were captured and the location of the three dead leaves were varied between each image. Volunteers were then shown the images and asked to identify the dead leaves. Our prototype partially meets our engineering goal because it is able to email a successful NDVI image in its RGB pair to the user. However, the NDVI image indicates that the plants are dead about half the time. These graphs compare the accuracy of the volunteers when looking at the RGB and NDVI images. Image 2 and 7 NDVI should be noted as the NDVI improved the accuracy by a large margin. The results show that the NDVI image is equally as effective as the RGB image in showing plant health. Our system was designed to be inexpensive with the cost estimated to be $600. This means our system is about 11 times cheaper than what's currently available. In conclusion, we were able to design a camera system for our drone that can image vegetation and display where the dead leaves are much like a multispectral camera. However, our system is not consistent and needs to be refined. Thank you for your time and consideration.